Hey, good morning everybody. It is 6 a.m. and we are getting ready to get on the road. We are heading up to Annapolis, Maryland to help out a ministry and do an on-site for them to help them get modernized. So, uh, let's go. Alright folks, we are here at Beacon of Light Seventh-day Adventist Church here in Annapolis, Maryland. I'm tired. We need to hurry up and get this Tesla for this full self-driving. Hopefully that would make it these type of trips a lot easier. And then we're going to be back up in Maryland again tomorrow. So um, excited about helping, not excited about the drive. But anyway, I'm here early, so I'm going to sit here and relax for a little bit after I take my traditional photo and get in here to see if we can help out some folks. So what the plan is, is to put a PTZ back here, another one in the front, and thinking about going with the A to Mini Extreme, maybe possibly the A to Mini Pro um, to save on cost. The idea is everything that's going to be on the projectors right now is just going to be videos or something like that. So it's not going to be video um, from the cameras. So we could go with the A to Mini Pro and then the HDMI out will be used as a multi-view to see and operate the cameras. Um, the main thing, just like what we always talk about, is just getting the cable from the front. The one in the back is pretty easy because we're right here. We can just run a conduit and come down. That's going to be simple. Um, they already have a, a laptop as well as a, um, an iMac. So the idea is not to really reinvent the wheel, but we can leverage the systems that they have right now because the goal was to also do Zoom. So we can do all of that through the ATEM USB out, goes into the system, Zoom sees it, gets the audio from the ATEM. Everybody can see that, but the ATEM Mini Pro can live stream itself. So boom, you got two things going on at the same time. And the iMac or the laptop that's being used, whether it be the same one for Zoom or not, we would just loop that out into one of the other inputs. And then we can put scripture for people to see on the live stream or in Zoom. But then another output would go directly to the projectors. So it's again. So that was more of a mental note for me but just give you an idea of what's going on so again not really reinventing the wheel we're not putting in multi-million dollars worth of stuff you can get a lot of stuff done just by thinking through the process and you don't have to add all the bells and whistles if you don't need to we again we do want to think about future proofing but you don't have to go super super top of the line for that so let's go ahead and cut over to my computer and we'll draw this out as a schematic so I can explain exactly what we're going to do. All right, folks. So we are back. Um, it's a lot later in the day. Man, that was a serious drive coming back. Um, had choir rehearsal and just trying to finally literally just stepping in from choir rehearsal. But let's go ahead and open up Draw I.O. And let's go ahead and design this system. This is going to be really simple, but hopefully this gives you some ideas on everything. So let's go ahead and cut over to my monitor all right let's get here in the lower corner here so let's start from new beacon light and i get my apologies i think i said beacon of light but it's just beacon light um so let's come in here and let's do the design of what they already have so they already have a um a mac computer right now and they have a laptop i don't um, Keith was saying he doesn't recall what the um, Mac is currently being used for. Um, so not really 100% sure on how we can utilize that or if we can at all. There is a laptop that's running 
some presentation software, and that is what's connected to the two projectors. It's running from VGA into a VGA matrix, um, a one by two matrix, and then it's two VGA cables running to each of the Epson projectors. Um, and that's pretty much all they have in place right now. So we get two of those. So that'll be front projector. And let's move all these back here. And then say rear projector. All right. Let's slide these over here to make it easy. And we have the matrix I was just talking about. So that would be a VGA one by two, one in, two out matrix. Shrink this down here. And now I think about it, I don't think I've done any VGA cables. But the idea is we don't have to replace all of this. We're adding on to what they got going on. So let's make these orange. And then we're connecting to one. And connecting to two. That's orange. That's orange. <clears throat> all right. That's what they have. And then they also have a um, audio mixer. It's an analog board, but it has RCA tape out, so we can utilize some RCA to stereo to give audio from the board going into the video mixer, all right? So we'll just put this over here somewhere. All right, so what are we going to do? So I'm proposing right now an ATEM Mini Pro right now because I asked them they are not trying to put video on the projector is still going to be just presentation. So that is good. Um, and again, I'm trying to be cautious of budget. So let's go in here and say, I was hoping they had added a PTZ camera, but they don't. So let's go with this. We're going to add, and I'm actually going to start using a couple more um, AV cans cameras. That's what I've been using on the last Four projects that I have, I've been using the AV cans, um, typical PTZ cameras, not the AI tracking ones. Very good. So we're going to go with two of them, one in the front, one in the back. So we do rear PTZ, front PTZ. Now, the other thing that I've been dabbling with that I didn't realize, and it's my fault, that these cameras can actually do Visca over IP. So I don't need to run another um, cat. Um, cat six cable to control it. I can send power over ethernet to it. And on that same cable, I can use a IP based joystick to control that. So that is what I'm doing for St. Paul's um, church of God in Christ with pastor Allen. And I'm doing with this one. So that saves on those little adapters and running extra cable. Cause now with POE, I only have to one run one ethernet cable to it for power and network and control, and then SDI. That's it. So that's going to be really easy. So we're going to have two SDI to HDMI converters. Shrink those down. So that's one, two. And remember that the ATEM Mini Pro only has four inputs, but it does allow it to live stream. So we're going to be live streaming from the ATEM Mini Pro. Let's get a monitor too, because that's what's going to be used to view the multi view coming from the ATEM Mini Pro. So if the iMac is not being used, we'll just remove that, take that off the desk, and now we have the space for this one. So let's do that as blue for HDMI. This is VGA. VGA. And because of the distance, we're going to obviously do SDI cable for here and for that one. So those are our two inputs right here. SDI. SDI. And then what we're going to do is I'm assuming that this is the um, 
This is the iMac that's not going to be used. And this is presentation software. I believe they use an open LP or something like that. Um, but another thing that they wanted to do is he already uses OBS. Keith already uses OBS, but they don't have a system that's going to be strong enough to run it. That's why the A10 is going to be using it, but he does a lot of graphics in OBS. So instead, what we're going to do is use OBS and push OBS as an input into our ATEM so we can use our graphics. And I've been meaning to do a video about that. So I'm just going to assume, I'll actually just call this OBS computer. Again, it could be a laptop or whatever, because um, it's just going to be doing graphics. So we're going to run HDMI into this. And then we're going to get a USB dongle for this other computer here for the presentation because, again, we want to, um, this is going to be USB to HDMI. And what color will we do with that? Let's do... Let's do red for USB. And then we're going to run that into the system here. So this will give us scripture. So the idea is hopefully the software can handle this to where the VGA is going to be display output number one. The HDMI is going to be display output two. I don't know why somebody has to show off how loud their car can be. Anyway, um, we're going to not dual, but we're going to put individual screens for each one of these so they can go out and um, it'll still have the scripture here putting out as a presentation on the projectors, but we can feed this in as an option into the A10 Mini Pro for graphics for lower thirds so that people online can see it. Now, the other thing of what this system is going to be and I'm going to use this system for right now. We're going to pull. Why is it doing that? We're going to run another USB out into this system. And this is also going to be running Zoom. So this is going to be Zoom slash OBS computer. Now, again, remember OBS is just meant to put in the graphics that they already have and send it to the ATEM. The ATEM Mini Pro is going to be doing the live streaming. All right, and then, of course, we have a joystick. But again, we're going to use an IP controller for this. So we just need to put this on a network. And all of these are networked together, and then we're able to do some stuff. So we might need to put a network switch back there. So we're going to have to run, and this is actually um, a PoE switch, five port. So we're going to run a cable into that one, that PTZ. And that is going to be cat six. So let's go with green for that. Cat six. Then obviously into this one as well too. Into the zoom PC. Into the joystick which again, the joystick is POE too. So we save on inputs as well for that. So that's very good. What else? Yeah, obviously the ATEM needs it.
And yeah, I think that's it. So really not a lot. Now, again, these projectors do not support 1080p, but since we're doing a completely different monitor, hopefully the software that they're using will be able to support multiple monitors, and we're just going to have the HDMI out as well as the existing VGA just push out the same thing. But the HDMI, um, maybe we can format it to be something different in a lower third. I don't know what software they're using, so that's going to be up for a discussion on what we can change. But this is really going to be really, really simple. Um, the good thing is they don't have access to the attic, so they said they were fine with running the cables up against the baseboard because they already have a cable there. So, yay. The only thing we needed a ladder is to mount the camera in the front and the back, and we're going to run network, and, hey, we're good to go. So I already sent off an estimate to them. There is going to be a link in the description, as usual, for all of the parts that I'm going to be using. And then the next few projects, everything we're going to be doing um, is with the AV cam. So both of these are going to be 20x zooms because not really need to have a 30x um, Union Grove that we're going to be starting on Thursday. We actually are using a 30x zoom and a 20x zoom um, AV cams camera there. And then at St. Paul's, we're using three um, 20x um, AV cans, PTZs there. So um, take y'all along with me. Um, sent this off, waiting for them to have a meeting about it. I'm going to hear back, and then we'll go from there. So very, very simple. This is how we can integrate in there, and it's not very intrusive. Literally, the only thing that we're doing is mounting those two cameras and running the cables and everything else is existing right there in the media booth so i um, really excited to help them out with that and we're looking forward to it and like i said description is down below with all the parts that we're going to use so you can get them yourself there are amazon affiliate links so we get a little kickback for you getting that but the price does not change for you it helps this channel um, so if you have any other questions, please leave them down below and let me know. And I, hey, if you want me to come out and kind of do an on-site at your church and see where I can help, if y'all are looking at trying to expand, hey, make sure you can email me down below at questions at ageofhomes.com and either me or D will get back with you and we can schedule out some stuff. Or if you just want me to bring it on and we do a live stream or something like that and we kind of build out something there for your ministry, I am open to doing some stuff like that too. We just got to plan it out. So email me. And we will see what we can do to help you out. If you like this type of content, I appreciate a like. Consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. I want to thank the patrons and the YouTube members for making this video possible. Their names on the screen right now. And you too can become a patron for as little as $1 a month or a YouTube member by clicking the link down below. No matter which way you pick, folks, you are helping us train media ministries all over the world. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ, and we will see you on the next video later.